If I told you I don't care, I don't think 99% of you would understand what I don't care actually means. At some basic level, you might understand what I don't care means. Let me give you an example. Somebody wakes you up at 3 o'clock in the morning to tell you something that is not earth-shattering, fatal, non-emergency. You roll over and you say, I don't care. And you go back to bed. In that instance, that's the only time that you could even come close to understanding what I mean when I say, I don't care. I was invited to do some stuff. I'm, I'm actually constantly invited to do stuff. I don't do a lot of stuff because I don't care about the people's agenda. And I already know that they have an agenda. And I know that they think that I fit their agenda. That's why they're inviting me. What do I mean? Let me be specific. For example, they saw my video about shopping while black. And CNN invited me to share my story of shopping while black. CNN is a very leftist, communistic news entertainment channel that thinks that black people are their children and they think that they can bring in black people and that black people by definition should be Democrats, leftists, and on the liberal plantation. They are pro-promoting homosexuality, promoting godlessness, promoting immorality. There is absolutely no possible way that I could go on CNN, be interviewed, and not bring up the fact that I don't care about any of those issues. And I don't think they understand what I don't care means. Let me explain, or let me try and explain to you what I don't care means. I don't care literally means... If two people were arguing, one pulls out a gun, shot the other person, I'm walking down the sidewalk, I would literally step over the guy that was shot dead, bump into the guy with the gun, and keep walking. Because I don't care. I don't think you understand the depth to how I don't care. I have friends who are homosexual. Well, I don't have friends. I have people who call themselves my friend and they happen to be homosexual. If they come running in and say, oh, oh my God, the Nevada didn't, didn't pass the, uh, the gay right to ha have marriage. So you already know what I'm going to think in my head, right? I don't care. Don't care at all. Now, in this day and age, if you say you don't care, or even if you present a veneer or an aura of not cheering, not hugging, not kissing some sort of stupid agenda, be it feminist, homosexual, white supreme, I don't, I don't, I don't black, so I don't, I don't, whatever. Then they're going to try and label you as anti-feminist, anti-homosexual, anti, no, 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 no. That's not it. I don't care. I don't give a crap about your life. You do not impact me whatsoever. I don't care if you die. I just simply do not care. Your agenda has nothing in my daily life. We need to stand up against Trump. You go ahead and do that. I think you're stupid, but you go ahead and do that. You know why? Because Trump doesn't care about you. He doesn't care about me. I don't care about Trump. And I don't care about you being stupid enough to go get beaten up by Trump supporters or anti-Trump or anti-Bernie or Bernie supporters or Hillary supporters. And why are you bothering? I'm libertarian for a reason. Leave me the hell alone. I know people try and 
try and uh, bring hate to libertarians. They try and bring all sorts of shameful stuff to libertarians. And for the most part, libertarians are, are kind of above it all and outside of it all. And and at some point, you know, that they, they want to just dismiss libertarians until it comes to the voting results and libertarians win, hands down, the most third party seats and positions of power in the country, except for the the one party system, uh, which is bifurcated into the Democratic label and the uh, lib- uh, the uh, Republican label. Then they then they go, oh my god, this can't be, this can't be. It's a third party took uh, the the, the uh, Secretary of State. How, this how how could that happen? Well, you were sleeping. You were going off to your your agenda about. Uh, murdering babies is a good thing, and and, and it's a woman's right to murder babies. Or, or you're going off into your 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 agenda about uh, women should be should be given equal pay, although they actually make more than men. When you actually do a real life scientific survey, or or that uh, you you are uh, completely slapping around uh, seventy five percent of the population is actually religious based. And God forbid you actually uh, let in uh, these radical Muslims to come into the country, then you will really see some some, some reaction to this. Uh, God isn't real. I don't believe in God. And blah blah. Any homosexuality is fantastic and and then prosperous and great. And they, and they and they and they love everybody. And and it when when in, when in reality, the only homosexuals you actually get to hear are the radical homosexuals. If you are going to invite these radical is Muslims into the United States, and we're talking about letting in radical, we're, this whole refugee thing—that's that's 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 all uh, that's all smoke and mirrors. Oh, oh, they're refugees. Oh, they're they're women and children. And then you see the picture, and it is eighty percent young, twenty-something uh, to thirty-something-year-old men from countries that aren't even Syria. So what's going on, really? If you're going to let these guys in, this whole homosexual thing, this whole feminism thing, what else? This whole Black Lives Matter thing, that's all going to blow away. Because these people will hang the homosexuals, uh, punt, uh, stone the women, and shoot the blacks. This is why I don't care about your stupid agendas. Because it doesn't hold water in the, the light of what is really going on in the reality of the situation. So I don't, I don't go to these places. I don't, you want to invite me to CNA? You want to invite me to Fox? You want to invite me to, to, to California? You want to invite me to LA? Th- that's fantastic, but I am not the Negro. Oh, oh I, I've, I've tried to do online dating. And I show up to the meeting place. And within two seconds, the girl goes, oh, I, 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 I wanted an ice cube type, type of black person. You're more of a Denzel Washington type of black person i don't want that i want more i want me a, a thug i saw that you were 6'2 240 pounds of pure muscle but i but i thought you were a thug i didn't know you were wayne brady i want me a thug so uh n- no date at all you have a nice night oh you have a nice life <laughs> i'm sorry you know, you're dipping in your flame. And, and I've had black women tell me that too. Uh, the, in fact, the most criticism I get is from black women. But that that's okay. I know they're just ignorant. I know they're just stupid. And probably they're just peasants. And it was stupid of me to dip, dip my f- finger, my toe into the cesspool of mediocrity and try and actually think that I could date amongst the peasants to begin with. But that's another story altogether. But no, I'm not, I'm not that black Negro that you can control. I'm sorry, CNN, Fox, Bloomberg, MSNBC, whatever. I'm not that, that's not me. If you invite me, I'm going to make sure that you sign contracts that says that I can say whatever I want and that there were no be no retributions and that I can come back onto your show regardless of what I say because that's good TV, isn't it? For a black person to come on and say, no, you're wrong, Miss Feminist. You're completely wrong. You're lying. You're lying to women and you probably don't even like women. You just call yourself a feminist just to be saying something. 
There is no inequality of pay. As soon as you go female CEO compared to male CEO, the female CEO gets paid a lot more. Why does she get paid a lot more? Because she actually gets bonuses and blah, 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 blah. And, and corporations bend over backwards just so that they can say diversity. When in, when in fact, there's nothing diverse about a white female versus a white male. That's not diversity. That, that's like saying, I masturbate with my left hand instead of my right hand. Diversity. <laughs> You're still masturbating? What are you talking about? <laughs> but it's, it's, it's like... It's it's like you you're with a stranger. No, no, a stranger is a stranger. Having sex with your wife is diversity, <laughs> as far as that goes, right? Hiring a white woman. When do when do we get so illogical that a white woman does not equal a white man? Everybody's been so turned up as uh, upside down in in logic and reason. White women oppressed black people just as much as white men. L let's let's call a spade a spade. White women got Negroes beat, slaughtered, imprisoned just as much as white men. White women hate Negroes just as much as white men. Go look at any of these KKK rallies. Oh, yes, honey. You put on that sheet. Oh, yeah. Oh, give me a sheet, too. Come on, honey. Oh, yes, honey. Oh, that's fantastic. They kill them Jews. Kill them Negro. But for some reason, this is diverse now to call a white woman instead of a white man. What? Kill yourself. Seriously. And you women are going along with it. Oh, yes. Oh, oh we have diversity now. Uh, no, um, 60% of the people hired are still white people. But now it's white women. They're white people. You haven't even made taking a step forward at all. Uh, yeah, but I'm an Asian woman and now women. Are, no, no. There is no difference between men and women. That's your whole point, isn't it? That there's no difference. Then step back, put on your brain and take a look at the situation. Still, 60% of the people hired are white. Not Asian, not African descendants, not Latinos, not Native American. You went from 60% to 60%. Now all of a sudden you're happy? What, for, what, for white women? Kill yourself. And kill the person who convinced you that somehow a white woman is different from a white man. You either look at facts and logic. Um, so, so do you think I could go on to CNN and say this? Do you think I could go on to Fox News and say this? Do you? Do you honestly think I could say this? They wouldn't cut to commercial. Snatch that microphone off of my freaking shirt or my blazer and tell me to get the hell out of their studio. Get the hell out of it. Find my own way back from New York. Do you seriously think I could get, get on there and say that? Do you seriously think I could get on and tell them you're lying about the whole feminist stuff? It's all a lie. It's all a big lie. This homosexual thing is all a, one giant lie. They've already done survey after survey after survey after survey. 85% of homosexuals do not care about being married. Haven't any, even been in a relationship longer than six months. Do not care. Homosexuals don't care. Who, who are you listening to? You're listening to homosexual lobbyists who care about homosexual lobbyists. That's it. It's one little tiny, tiny group of a tiny, tiny group. And they target businesses. They target individual Americans. And so, and so see these people are homosexual or homophobic. No, 90% of the people who walk into their store is Christian. They're in a, town, a small town in the middle of nowhere where everybody knows everybody and everybody goes to church. They all go to the same church. They all know each other. And if word got out that John Smith made a cake for two lesbians 
they would be run out of business. But you know what? You beat them to it. You ran them out of business. The Constitution says Congress shall make no law regarding religion nor prevent the practice thereof. That literally means all of this stuff about these these businesses can't practice their religion. This literally means it's unconstitutional to tell a Christian, I don't care where he is, where you find him, at what time of day, that he can't practice his religion. But you know what? For all of you white people trying to trounce other white people as homophobic, the same opposite happens when we go to Islam. Islam beats all homosexual stuff. Any homosexual claim, any homo... Oh, uh, uh, no. Oh, uh, no, baby girl. Oh, uh, no, baby girl. You better sit down. You have no right to even step foot in that halal barbershop. You have no right to even go to that Muslim bakery. You have no right to even set foot in that Muslim grocery store. You are in the wrong, Miss Lesbian couple. Miss Lesbian. You, you, you want to take a look at that? Wh while you're trouncing on these good white people in these small towns where everybody goes to the same exact church? that whose reputation you would be ruining if they actually participated in your stuff. But you go ahead and ruin their reputation anyway as being quote unquote homophobic. Who's who, who whose reputation are you ruining them with? The mainstream population that has now been convinced that homosexuality is some sort of a God given thing. But the numbers don't bear you out. Remember, I don't care. I don't care. I don't. I don't care if you die. I do not care if you smother in a house fire. I don't care if somebody chops you up, puts you in a bag and does it to 20 of you. I don't care. But I look at the numbers objectively. You don't have the numbers. You have a bully pulpit called the mainstream media that promotes this, this garbage, but you don't see the mainstream media telling you the results of homosexuality versus Islam because maybe Christians would go into an uproar if they said if they saw that not only are the Muslim store owners barbershops grocery stores not only are they winning against your claim of homophobia or unequal treatment but the courts have even said that you don't even have a right to walk into the place that you, Mr. Homosexual, you, Miss Feminist, you, Miss Lesbian, can't even walk into the place. Is it a public store? Yes, it's a very public store, but it is clearly a halal barbershop, a halal grocery store. And you get your butt completely whooped in court. And that's Europe, Canada, United States. But for some reason, you went against tame little white people who are just, just Christian. I, I, I guess the real test is going to be when you run up against some really orthodox type of Christians, maybe one of these Mennonite places, huh? You think the homosexuals are going to be invited into the Mennonite? No, no, no. They don't even like regular white Christian people, even less homosexual or feminists. And they don't care if you call them homophobic or or uh, sexist or whatever, because they're held 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 to a higher standard. That's going to be the real test when you get these Mennonites up in court, a minority. But you're not winning against the the Muslims. You're winning against these regular white people because white people don't care about white people. Let's be honest. And I, you think I could go on CNN and tell people this? You think I could do that? You think a black man could get onto national TV and even even make the cut? Do you think they would even air it? No, that would be taped and that tape would go into the garbage that you would never see the light. Of, it would never see the light of day. Like I said, if they, if they wanted me to show up to their little thing, they would have to sign contracts. Guarantee me full freedom of speech. And I don't care about their stupid agendas.
I don't care about their feminist agenda. I don't care about their homosexual agenda. I don't care about their black lives agenda because I know behind it is probably George Soros on all of them. You're all being controlled and uh, controlled and exploited by somebody. I know for a fact the Black Lives Matter isn't even black. It's by George Soros and it's mostly 90% of the people in the Black Lives Matter movement are white. A bunch of white hipsters, a bunch of white uh, college students. I've seen video after video but where it was all white people talking to white people in a white auditorium at a white school. I mean, uh, shouting Black Lives Matter. It may... <laughs> It makes no sense. I don't care about that stuff. I don't. What do I care about? I'm a Pan-Africanist. I care about getting my black people out from under all of that crap. I want to bring black people to the realization that they need to be left alone. And, and any time I say that, white people come out the woodworks. <laughs> How, how dare you? How dare you say that, Shikama? That is so racist. Okay, Mr. Weird Person who thinks that it's okay for black people to be trod upon by the Democratic Party for 60 years. The, the black family to be completely destroyed. And here we are in round two with feminism on its way. And homosexuality round three on its way. To de destroy whatever is left of the black family. And you could be lied to about white people because, you know, they say, oh, the divorce rate is this. When that, in fact, that's not, that's not the truth. It's not the truth. It's not the truth. It's not the truth. And not every woman, a uh, white woman, uh, is uh, up for divorcing you, taking your money, and uh, uh, stealing the kids, and stealing the house, and uh, or murdering your unborn children. Not a, never, every, not every white. I mean, there are a lot. Yes, there are a lot, but not everyone. There are entire sections of both the upper classes or even Middle America, uh, uh, Central America, the Central part of the USA. That is not about that at all. They're all about, uh, I'm out of high school. I better get me a husband because they are still in that mode. And, uh, you know, feminism talked about freeing women, but, but a lot of them have even come out and said, we want to free women from uh, marriage too. That's their agenda. And, and they haven't even thought that agenda through that if you then free up women from marriage and but you still want women to have children somehow but to uh, keep the population going which which they haven't thought about that either because they are promoters of abortion uh, murdering unborn children they promote that too but 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 uh, if you're going to free up women from marriage that also means that you're going to create an entire generation of completely crazy psychotic lunatic white people men and women Psychologists, psychiatrists, medical doctors are all in agreement. Children need mom and dad. It is the rare child that comes from only mom or only dad and are st still stable. More than likely, that only child of an, uh, of an only parent probably has an entire village of moms and dads watching over him or her. And that's the only reason that that child didn't come out as a psychotic, as a bully, as a criminal, as a psychopath. Mom and dad needed to grow children, needed to raise children, needed to have a stable society. Not only women, feminism is a death trap to humanity. Homosexuality is a death trap to humanity. That's just the facts. I know that people say, oh no, oh no, 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 homosexuality is great, oh, we were born this way, blah, 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 blah. That is not what the endocrinologists say. Why, why don't we actually ask a scientist? Why don't we actually ask a biologist? A and in fact, uh, according to the biologists, they don't even know why straight people are straight. So if they can't figure out why straight people are straight, you going around saying that you were born homosexual doesn't make sense. Because if straight people aren't born straight, then homosexuals can't be born homosexual. Those are facts. The terrible fact, I know. Terrible thing to discover that straight people aren't born straight. It's all socialization. So, so your claim that you were born that way is a lie. Because straight people aren't born they're straight. They're not. It, a society that promotes 
stability is straight though. That is the best avenue to keep humanity going. And what does straight really mean? Uh, uh, Men, woman, child. Man, woman, child. Man, woman, child. Uh, Let's just keep promoting that. Uh, Then we add in uh, marriage. Okay, man, woman, hands off other people. And that's to the couple involved. And that's to other people outside of the couple involved. Get out of their marriage. Don't destroy their marriage. Unlike feminism, which has come out and said that they need to destroy marriage. Oh, oh, you don't believe me? Uh, I want you to look up feminist poetry. Feminist, feminist spoken word. Go look it up. Go look it up on Google. Go look it up here on YouTube. And they come right out and say, I am the person who is going to destroy your marriage. I am going. I am the person who is going to turn your, your daughter homosexual. Feminism. For all of you women who keep saying, I'm a feminist, I believe in equal. No, that's not what it's about. You're out to lunch. The reality is, it is a hate-filled movement against society. Uh, at first, I thought it was just men, but no, my eyes have been opened. It is against society at large. I am for promoting the black community. I am for promoting the stability of the black community. That means men woman, child, man, woman, child, generation, generation, legacy, dynasty, stability. Uh, This generation wants excitements. They want drama. They want gossip. Uh, Even the boys, even the quote unquote men. I'm the exact, exact opposite. I promote stability, boringness, being normal. Hmm. You think I could go into CNN and say this? You think I can go on a Fox News and say this? Fox News called out Obama. Fox News called out uh, Trump. But let's talk about Obama just for a second. Fox News called out all the people who said that Obama wasn't born. And uh, now I did a series. I went into into depth. Fox News called out people for saying Obama wasn't born in the country. He wasn't born in the country. That that's a fact. That he never said he wasn't born. In the oh oh no 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 that's right. He said he was born in Hawaii. That is a lie. That is a lie. He was born in Indonesia, point blank. He was not born in Hawaii. So so then the question is, if you are born of a, an American female, or I guess American male, but in both instances, or all the instances that we're talking about, uh, Ted Cruz, Obama, uh, even Trump, if you're born to an American woman, does that make you a citizen of the United States? And I went into great detail talking about that. Fox News said that anybody talking about the issue was crazy and a lunatic. Now that's Fox News. That's the that's supposedly the uh, the uh, supposedly the conservative channel that all that CNN tells you that you need to hate because they're 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 all conservative. They all talk about something different. They don't talk about anything different. Nothing. They all take the same exact side on all the issues. Now, you have the obliviating fools like uh, Hannity and the uh, other Irish guy, but they're just talking heads. They're not the news. The actual news and the uh, morning shows on Fox News all say the same exact thing as CNN. They all hate Trump and they all hate any conspiracies about 9-11 or anything like that. Do you think I could go into Fox News? Talking about the opinions of the scientists who actually took a look at the 9-11 building. The the reports that the people who built the 9-11 buildings said that it was impossible that the plane could have not just burned the steel, but caused the entire building to collapse. Do you think I could go on Fox News and say that? Or CNN for that much. No, I couldn't. I could not. And they probably wouldn't air it. It would never be on TV. You would never see it. But you know what? I I go back to my basic premise. I don't care. I don't care about any of that stuff. I don't care. I don't care about your agenda. I don't care. I care about my agenda. And my agenda is very tiny and very specific. Getting black people to realize that they need to be left alone. 
There are not that many black people in the United States. We're 10% of the population. 10%. You should never see a black person on TV. Never. There are more Latinos than, than black people. Heck, if we, if we keep going the rate that we're going and, and they don't talk about the uh, illegal immigration from Asia, they don't talk about that at all. At all. They talk about Latinos a lot. They don't talk about the illegal immigration from Canada. And, and they've said that the uh, radical Muslims can come in from Canada, too. They don't have to come in from Mexico. If we're going to talk about national security, let's talk about national security. Black people have the same birth rate as white people. Oh, you don't hear that on the news. You're always, you're always hearing that. Oh, black people are, they breed like, uh, like monkeys or breed like rabbits or breed like uh, uh, animals, right? No, black, black birth rate is the same as white people. Why? Because black people are middle class. And when you become middle class, you don't have the time to be having four and five children or even three or even two. Black birth rate is the same as white birth rate. If there's any up in black population is from Africans coming over here or people from the uh, islands coming over here. That's it. The regular black population, the African American, same exact as the white birth rate. And there's not a, the, not that many of us. So, uh, you know, 10, 10% is going to turn into 9%, then 8%, 6%, 3%. But the white population is also going down. Now, you hear about that from time to time, but they say the exact opposite of black Americans. I want a stable black community. That's what I want. And, and no, we don't commit all the crimes. There's not that many. There's not that many black people to go around. If that were the case, every black man would have to commit 10 crimes. Every black alive American, including children, black children, we would all have to be committing at least 10 crimes a day every black American to even come close to white crime. Now, I know you're going to say, oh, the FBI said that black people commit more violent. Black people are in jail for simple marijuana possession. You've been lied to. But it's the federal government. The federal government also says the unemployment rate is 5% or 4%. The federal government says this. I want you to Stand up, go to your local mall, and I want you to tell me how many stores are completely shuttered. And on the way to the mall, I want you to tell me how many stores are completely shuttered. At 4% unemployment rate, at 3% unemployment rate, every commercial property would be bustling. At 4%, every commercial property would be open. At 5%, Every commercial property would be open and everybody would still have a job. At 6%, you would have to search for the closed store. At 7%, you would have a pocket, maybe in the poor neighborhood, of commercial property that is not open. It's only till you get around 16, 20% unemployment do you have stores shuttered to such a degree that you can actually see it anywhere you go. So if the federal government is telling you that we have a 5% unemployment rate and you can stand up, walk in the commercial property zoned areas of your city or town, you're probably at 20% unemployment or 30%. Now, does that make you trust the FBI reports? Oh, the CDC also says that men cannot be raped. That's from the federal government. So you, your whole, the federal government said this doesn't mean, doesn't hold water with me because I already know what the federal government does. And as far as black people go, the federal government does not have a good track record of A, being honest whatsoever, B, doing anything remotely equal the federal government promoted slavery. The federal government promoted inequality. The federal government is the one that came and beat up black people when white people rioted against them. The federal government came and participated in the race riots that ha have occurred in the United States. The federal government came and shot black people. 
during any sort of racial dust-ups that mainly uh, started in the northern and eastern states. So this whole notion that the South is so anti-black is it's a complete lie. Or, or better yet, more precisely, the notion that the South is the only area that hates black people is a complete and bald-faced lie. The federal government, yes, with Obama sitting in the chair, is anti-black, have always been anti-black. I want a stable black community. And I want blacks to belong to a party that promotes leave me the hell alone. What do Democrats say? Oh, no, we need to take care of black people. If we empower black people, then they wouldn't. That means that the power rests in your hands, Democratic Party. First, for you to empower somebody else, that means that you have the power to empower them. I'm not talking about empowering black people. I'm talking about black people coming to the realization that they need to be left alone to do whatever that it is that we want to do. If we want to fall in the gutter, let us fall in the gutter gutter. If we want to have an entire community of black people with black businesses thriving, which is what we had before Martin Luther King came on to the scene. That's what we need to do. And every black economist has said that's what we need to do. Why? Because that's what white people do. That's what Asian people do. That's what Latino people do. Golly, Ma, did you see the over on 5th and Main Street? Them damn Mexicans took over the entire section of the city. Not, not one gosh darn store isn't Mexican over there. But I get people telling me that black people don't need to do that. These so-called Mexicans take over entire commercial districts, make it all Mexican, hiring all Mexican, in a quick 40 years surpassed black people on all economic scales. We don't even, we don't even have to look at Asians. Let's just look at these damn Latinos. You don't have to look at Asians. Uh, my whole deal was let's look at Asians, let's let's emulate Asians. Hell, the the Latinos have done the Asian thing, and in forty years have surpassed all black financial metrics. So you can still start l- listening to Democrats, the Democrats who run the cities, who make it nearly impossible for blacks to open black businesses in their own business districts. You don't need to be be talking about no segregation. Everybody else segregates. White people segregate. Do you have a rich white segregated part of the city? Yes, because every section in the United States has. Even you, Mr. Peasant white person, can't go into that area without the police showing up or, or the neighborhood watch or whatever you want, the private security, whatever you want, showing up, uh... Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, do you have some business in this area? That's even if you're white. So don't tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about or that I'm trying to be racist or anything like that. I know the deal. I know economics and I know personal finance and I know a a little bit of government finance since that was my master degree. I don't care any about these other agendas and they're not black agendas. Black lives matter. You heard it here first is not a black agenda. It's a Zionist agenda to try and draw in black people into this mess to help assist in the destruction of the country. You heard it here first. Or you heard it here first from a black person. Black Lives Matter is a Zionist agenda to draw black people in to this entire effort to destroy the country. Black people should be promoting freedom of speech. Hello, that means us. The Second Amendment, Fifth Amendment, all the amendments, all all of them. And leave me the heck alone. I belong to the I don't care party. I don't care. And we need to vote people in who say, uh, we don't care. Uh, You all need to start food banks. Uh, We don't need to start food banks. There are Catholic charities, uh, Uh, Baptist charities all over the place, all over the place, 
have their own manufacturing. When the government gets involved, it does stuff like shut down charities. That's your Democratic Party because they want all the power. They shut down charities. They shut down food banks. They shut down soup kitchens. During the Great Depression, private sector took care of everybody. This whole feminist thing is promoted by the government, U.S. government, because it gives the U.S. government more power. If a woman was in trouble, uh, and that means, that's trouble with a capital T, that's with her, her husband, that's if she went out and she's a flu, floozy and had children on her own without without the benefit of any sort of marriage and without the benefit of, of having a man uh, committed to raising the child with her, which was seen as her problem. Oh, 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 you can't say that. These you, you really think I can go on CNN and say that? The woman was seen as her having the problem because she had sex, unwed sex with somebody that she probably, more than likely, did not know, had made absolutely no commitment to. And apparently her parents didn't tell her that this is how society works. You get a firm commitment from a man, you get married, you build a family and a life with him. You don't go out and have sex, have children, and then look for somebody else to take care of you and the child. That's not how society works. Society works of you go find a man, have a firm commitment, get married, have children with him, live happily ever after. And you know what's funny is, a lot of even the, even the, even back then, families did a whole of uh, 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 Sarah, we found a good boy for you. Judy, we found a good boy for you. Uh, Gertrude, we found a good boy for you. Now Gertrude, of course, is not going to get the, the cream of the crop. So all the Gertrudes got together and formed feminism and said, uh, "We're tired of getting uh, not the cream of the crop." Uh, well, Gertrude, now you don't get anything, and, and now you're unhappy. And Gertrude, now you're working. Gertrude, now you have to compete against men who have wives. Like Sarah and Judy. And Sarah and Judy got firm commitments, got married, had children, building a legacy. She takes care of, of him. The cream of the crop, the uh, less than cream of the crop. And, and then now your pick of the litter has gone off and completely said, uh, screw you, Gertrude. You don't want us. We don't want you. Oh, Gertrude, now you're 40, you want, you want to come, and you're, you're feeling your uh, time running out, your biological clock is ticking, and you, you finally come to realize that, that you need to, but, but Gertrude, you now, you're used goods. Now, Gertrude, you have child with every Tom, Dick, and Harry, and, and now you're trying to get the courts and the federal government to come rescue you from your bad decisions in life, and we can't tell you that you have made a bad decision in life. That's how twisted all of this stuff is. And now you want you want to visit all of that to, to the black community? I'm not having it. Gertrude, you can go and attack white men all you want to. Stay away from my black women. Uh, we didn't oppress our black women. We didn't do anything to our black women. It is still the case that black people get married. Oh, I know, I know. CNN tells you differently. They're a good liberal channel. They tell you that, oh, oh, uh, divorce is up in the black community. No, it's not. No, it's not. It hasn't been in a lifetime. Now, CNN will tell you all about the ratchet Negroes, all about the ratchet black women, all of them. Tell you all about that all day, all long. They will never have a middle class black person on there. Unless the middle black, black person is tap dancing, shucking and jiving about some sort of agenda that they have. That's the only time you'll see a, a black uh, middle class person on CNN or Fox. Shucking and jiving, shucking and jiving. Uh, no, I don't. I don't care about your agendas. And I've said it before: homosexuality is not looked upon greatly in the black community. We have a hyper masculine community, and that's the way it is. That is our culture, hyper masculine, and our women, uh, n- not these crazy feminist black women but our women love hyper masculine black men that's what we're into the hyper masculinity that's why we talk deeper that's why we develop our muscles 
oh, not every black person is is muscle bound, but they develop muscles. And having a muscular body is seen, looked upon with favor in the black culture. Hmm? So please stop trying to influence our culture with your messed up culture that is headed down a path of complete destruction, complete depopulation. Uh, but you know what? I don't care. Just leave us alone. Leave me alone. And if anybody black listens to me, they could come join me and they'll leave me the me leave me the hell. I need that guy with the the big white mustache. The rent is too damn high. I need him to to come and start the party of me that leave me the hell alone party. Libertarian black black libertarian branch. Leave me the hell alone. I like the way he talks. So I need to I need a leave me the hell alone black a black leave me the hell libertarian party branch. I need a slogan for that. Think of a slogan for the, but no, I don't care. That's why you don't see me on CNN. That's why you don't see me on Fox, NBC, MSNBC, or blah, 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 or TMZ. <laughs> right? Thank you for watching the Shikama Live show. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, today's your lucky day. Because if you press the like button, you will receive your very own interstellar. That's right interstellar spaceship it will be right outside your door as soon as you click the like button thank you for watching